Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Hero Storm here on Cursed Hollow. To the right in the red we have CRG native from the U gaming hearts from the USA. We have Gigaku oh let's do that again. Gigakuna <laughs> Gigakuna, yes. As Malfurion Scale as Johanna uh, Glurong as Kerrigan Hospital as uh, Butcher and we have a shot as Keltas. And to the left in the blue we have Cloud9 Melson from the US as well. We have uh, Fan as Sylvanas, I Dream as Jaina, K1 Pro as Tyranda, Kefarine as Muradin and Drunk Train as our beloved Ufer. And we are here on the Cursed Hollow, which means that the objectives will spawn in these little circles around the map here on different locations. And when you collect the three of those for your own team, the enemy team will be um, to not the enemy team, but their towers and minion waves will be nerfed in a sense. So the towers and fort will be disabled, and the minion waves will have one HP, which makes them one hitable. So that's how it works. We do get a little bit of early roaming here. Uh, three man roam with uh, Glorung uh, Hospital and Skylol here from CRG uh, from between uh, bot and mid lane. Uh, as long as they can keep up the calm here before this uh, wave dies, they are not uh, supposed to lose any XP. So, yeah, we will see how it goes. Top lane here are looking to be a pretty calm situation. They are kind of. Um, heavy here against K uh, Keltas when he's alone and Johan is hanging in the middle there uh, of uh, the tracks between top uh, middle and bottom I mean. and uh, yeah there we go so yeah shot is there oh there we go nice arrow and then uh, damage and the stun from Ufer and he is uh, dead uh, nicely down there now they are basically to get a bit of a free push there in the bot lane have Johanna East moving down there so they won't lose that much XP. Have though they have done a little nice little push here getting that tower down. Uh, I would imagine that they yeah K1 Pro uh, I mean uh, Claw Lion are going to basically make a trade out here and get in the bottom one here in a while. Uh, we should start to see there we go Bruce Camps and Siege Camps are spawning in here at the two minute marker. And uh, we do see the siege camps getting captured here on the right side for CRG. And there we go, we are getting this for, uh, tower down here. Uh, try kind of hard to try to stand against this as uh, alone when you are going up against uh, Sylvanas and two other very annoying characters. Otherwise, we are, uh, yeah, as I said, there's not much happening up here in the top. And we do have the tank versus the tank here, basically, or war was a war, if you will, in the middle. But now we do get the first tribute. And we do have seed chains here for CRG, which will help a bit. A nice little hook there from Kerrigan. Uh, the damage, however, is not enough. And there we get a nice turn, and there comes the follow stun, and that's enough damage to killing off there. And uh, yeah, they have a great little synergization there with K1 Pro and Ufer in stun wise. And uh, here comes Kafarin, and he's not really that needed. <laughs> so he's just going back to mid lane. Uh, Johanna coming down here from top lane actually. Oh no, she's coming up, going up again. Uh, and we do see here CRG Kerrigan gathering the camp. Uh, that's the Bruiser camp, so. And yeah, we do. Will we see an arrow coming in here? No, looks like they are not going to do that. It's uh, kind of a hard kill to do there. Here comes Yena. To clean that out, so to say. Butcher here being in the middle. They are looking to be a bit spread here, here and there for both sides so far. Level wise, we are soon looking at a half a level advantage here for Claude 9. But that shouldn't be much of a problem in these early stages. The XP goes up and down quite a lot. Uh, 
And there we go, the second tribute are in play. And look like, oh, we are the great stun there from Tranda. This might, yeah, she's actually getting uh, killed there. Nicely done from the CRG players, Giga Akuna, Hospital, and Chlorog. And there, I probably pronounced some names wrong. And Jaina here pl having a bit of a play day with or dear. Oh, there we go. And there, Keltas goes down. Nicely down for a I, I dream. So we are looking at a 2 versus 0 in the tribute count. We might be looking at a boss pos uh, possibility here in a while you got my attention, buddy. Uh, for Cloud 9. Uh, yeah, Cloud 9, yeah. You got my attention, buddy. So, yeah. Not that uh, much here. We do have the bosses, of course. Uh, we have seen a fight already here in the top, uh, top right side. Uh, <coughs> looks like Karen is going back now to fill up that HPF and man, uh, that mana mostly because HP was basically full. We do see that third tribute this game coming here on the left side towards Clonai's team, and they actually got level 10 here so this is not directly the best way and uh, the best possibility output of uh, timing and xp wise for crg here uh, being one level behind here <coughs> they need that little burst of xp and uh, yeah there we go the curse is on the red team and uh, nice run here on Kaltas running in there have we will get him killed and uh, now we have the level 10 as well here for C or G? That yawning. Oh, yo. Well, it's a four man push against a two man push here in top line. I uh, would imagine that they will be pulling back here in a while uh, soon here. There we go, uh, Clone9 is probably happy with that fort being down and are now going to move upwards. And there we go, they are basically switching and they have 5 seconds left on the curse. And yeah, let's go through the ultis while we have the chance here. Diving, di uh, <coughs> you know, divine shield here for Rufer, Water Element for Jaina, Starfall for Tyrande, and Welling Arrow for Sylvanas, and Avatar for Muradin. And on the red side, we have Kerrigan Maelstrom uh, here. And we do a Furnace Blast for Butcher, Phoenix for Keltas, and we have Tranquility for Matfurian, and Blast Shield for Johanna. And uh, this is a bit of a risky move here. Doing this while the blue team is coming down. Hey, yeah, there we go. And uh, that's a lot of damage on Kerrigan. And she really just starts running. Here comes Murdin from behind. The Butcher misses his hat uh, axe there. And uh, yeah, we might uh, see your first takedown on Johanna here. A lot of damage still to kill here. But they are might be pushing this quite hard. And they comes to miss, uh, miss of a stun there actually. And they comes to follow up Aero though, however. And that's a lot of damage from the Cloud 9 team. And in the meantime, there was Mal Malfurion was here doing a little bit of push, and we do see uh, that Keltas is pushing the top one here. Butch is getting the Bruiser camp here, and we are now finally seeing the boss being uh, killed off here from Clone 9. And, uh, yeah, CUD are, uh, might be needing to defend the top one here in a while. And uh, yeah, we do definitely see them moving upwards here. Uh, they are, are not going to get encountered by anyone because they're 
COG are moving down here to try to defend off this bottom golem. Uh, we do see you have a Johan and Malfur moving up here. It could be a bit of a risky move, but it might be enough to scare them away, so to say. And uh, yeah, it looks like it is actually. And yeah, there we go. Garland is pushing a bit um, for We will probably not see this tower go down. Uh, he will probably die off before that. Uh, bottom cursed cur uh, cur tribute there. <laughs> okay, easy capture. Oh wow, we actually did. But now he's going to get killed here by the fort. And the focus are definitely up here. Johanna being very far in here. Uh, to the fight and uh, they do know that she is there and here comes the rest of the team uh, is kind of far back that ring uh, misses kind of quickly and there we go the Phoenix is down we do see a little surround here from with the um, Kerrigan and Butcher Butcher not getting the surround maybe he would need and uh, yeah that Furnace Blast is uh, doing some damage definitely but uh, maybe not as well as you would have needed earlier and with two people down, this should be an okay situation for Clown 9 to get the Golem here and afterwards get the, the Tribute. And uh, yeah, we should have a couple of minutes left on that one. Are they going to make a push with this golem, however? We will definitely see that. A uh, bit of a miss there from Kerrigan. Uh, some early damage, however, though, on the golem. There we go, an uh, offensive uh, Phoenix from Keltas to try to help out with the golem. Uh, towers are being disabled here from Sylvanas, of course. A uh, route there on Butcher, actually. And we do see an arrow as well. And Johanna is moving out here. And uh, yeah, she's definitely taking some damage. It looks like have a clone not getting maybe the position they want here. So they are, yeah, they are bailing out. And it's going to give CLG the uh, good opportunity to clean this up. And have it they are getting this tribute on the way out here. Uh, will CLG go in for it and try to contest it though? Does it look like it? They are looking to go bot here. And there we have, we have a second well curse here for Clone uh, 9 against CRG. And uh, now is the time when they want to try to get this port down. And there we go against the Phoenix. He's up, uh, doing okay as much damage here. Murden is basically ignoring it, moving right far in here. And there we go, the ulti from Cooper is down. And uh, we are, we did see that. No, 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 that was his blind. And yeah, a lot of damage on the fort here. The fort should be gone, and then we would probably see them get out of here. Uh, so you need to make a little push. There we go. Uh, jump in there from Kerrigan, but not much of a follow up. Butcher is charging in now. Kerrigan needs to follow up here, otherwise, Butcher might get hurt here. Uh, there we go. A lot of damage on Kerrigan actually. However, it was not quite enough here, and Butcher are definitely going to go down here. There we go, and that's a lot of damage. My fury was a bit. Uh, far out there to be able to save his main. Now it's an ice block heavy there on Mal from Malfurion to deny that push. And that's a full team wipe and we might see a G oh yeah that's the GG and uh, here comes the push for a finish from Cloud 9 Malstrom. We might see Kurgan as it's spawning in here. <laughs> yeah, that's the ZZ <laughs> and that's the game between Cloud9 Maelstrom here on the blue side against CRG Native Gaming House from the US as well as Cloud9, uh, but CRG Native are of course on the red side here. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.